there guys, Chauncey J. Kent here, and welcome to another episode of Skyblock Survival, here on the Hadescraft Skyblock server. Uh, today, well, first off, let me apologize guys for the uh, unannounced hiatus last week. Uh, I've just been very busy, didn't really have time to do a whole lot in the way of recording or editing, and um, they're just, I wasn't able to get an episode up, so I do apologize for that. Um, I know you guys all missed me terribly, but I'm back, and uh, I did manage to get some work done off camera um, over over the break. So um, uh, I'll show you what we got done here. We actually finished up the first section of the slime farm. Uh, this is the roof of it, which <laughs> happens to be just perfectly level with all of my. Um, rotten flesh disposal stuff and we're going to be working on this section here today uh, because I actually have to change this. Um, the platform right here actually runs into uh, where this would be. Uh, this is layer 40 right here that we're looking at. Um, <clears throat> so slimes can still spawn in this area and we have to fix that. <laughs> so we'll be putting down uh, a half slab area and um, uh, setting this up a little bit nicer and getting rid of this because it effectively stops you from accidentally running off, but you know uh, It doesn't look great. So um, But yeah before we do any of that, let me run down the ladder here. Well not run, but let's uh, climb down the ladder here And you can see our slime farm as it currently stands Level after level of complete Oh, That was close slime farm. Alright, and we'll go to the bottom section here. <clears throat> and you'll note that we did uh, raise the level of this because it just feels a lot smoother and better this way. And I still need to put uh, the metal bars along the bottoms of these, but we'll get to that. We will get to that. And of course this sets down so that you can walk down into this area. And this goes down so you can access this. And we've got some slime balls. And I cleaned out all the eggs and other random crap that fell in during construction. So uh, it's all up and running and ready to go. And it's very well lit down here, although it doesn't necessarily seem like it. We've got torches. We've got lanterns. Um, <clears throat> Jacko lanterns. But, you know, lanterns nonetheless. And uh, such as such as that. So let me hop back on up here uh, to the gold farm platform which intersects with our slime farm section here. And of course you notice we do have the other uh, sections still in place that need to be constructed and we just don't have the resources to do that yet but we will get there guys I promise. Okay. Some eggs of course. Eggs. Always with the eggs. And some gold there. Oh good, and some gold here. <clears throat> yeah, uh, that one, the sorter for it got broken somehow, and uh, it was just letting everything through. So we actually lost a fair amount of gold to like the, the automatic uh, lava thing. So, not sure what happened there, but it's all fixed up now as well. But yeah, so let's hop down here. That's unnerving. <laughs> and uh, uh, we're actually going to take up this fence because uh, it's going to be in the way for what we're doing. Oh, I didn't... Oh, oh what a fail. Alright, I'll take up this fence and I need to grab a workbench, so we'll do that here in a second. <clears throat> um, basically, I'm going to be putting the stone brick stairs along here. Uh, and putting the fence back on top of those and then half slabbing the rest so that we don't have slimes popping up up here and we can improve the efficiency of the farm below us. And of course during this process we're going to be close enough to, well we're too close to the upper levels of the slime farm for any of them to be spawning there, unfortunately. However, the lower levels should be well within our spawn, optimum spawning range. Uh, so while we're doing this, we will likely have some slime spawning and uh, falling into our trap and 
making wonderful slime balls for us. So, got them. Excellent. Um, go ahead and take those down. And there we are. Now, get rid of these. Yeah, I was trying to be creative, but you know, only so much you can do. Okay, so let's get rid of this. And we're just going to put. Solid stuff here. There we go. That's all supported. <clears throat> okay. This looks a little bland this way. Hmm. I have to see what I did for some other stuff. Anyway, I'm going to cut out real quick and grab the workbench, and I will be right back, guys. Alright, and we are back, guys, and I got what I needed and some other stuff, too. Kind of took a look at some of the other staircases we've done on the island to get an idea of what I did, and so I can try and match themes here a little bit and whatnot. So, uh, what we're actually going to do is get rid of these. Um, and we're going to replace those with these, but only three of them, not like six of them, because that would be crazy. That might look a little odd, but it's definitely going to fit a lot better with uh, just blending those styles and whatnot. Okay, so, <clears throat> the reason we needed the workbench is because we need to make, I'll set this here for now, uh, stairs. Not sure why those were separate, but okay. There's that. We'll make a bunch of those. And we'll see how far that gets us. And you guys might remember this pattern from the, uh, viewing platforms that we made before. Basically just stairs on the outside, half slabs on the inside, and uh, you get a pretty cool pattern, and of course it's, you know, half slapped up, and no mobs are going to spawn on it. And we're going to be lighting it up anyway, but uh, that doesn't stop slimes, hence uh, the half slabbing. Okay, not quite enough. We need one, two, three, five more. Well, that's just a bit inconvenient, but okay. have to make eight. Always got to be with the weird numbers. Oh, well, that's Minecraft. If you're not used to it by now, then you'll have to get used to it if you're going to keep playing, because it's just one of those things. Alright, that can't go there, but that can go there. And yeah, we'll be able to see some of the redstone from here, but that's okay. Not a huge deal. This is kind of part of the industrial section of the, um, the island, uh, which makes it a valid place for putting down stuffs. Now that won't be able to go there, but we actually won't need it there. Because we'll have half slabs and mobs won't spawn there anyway. Oh, am I going to need more of these, apparently? Okay. <clears throat> I wasn't anticipating that, but uh, if we do, I'll make some more. We'll come back when they're ready and I apparently need more of those. Okay. <clears throat> well, uh, while... While that's going on... I uh, will put these up. I do have to keep these, apparently, uh, in order that no one accidentally falls off of this. 
don't know that I necessarily need this one. It was worth it. Well worth it. Just need that one. Just want to make sure that it's... Uh, obviously I can't make it completely 100% um, safe no matter what I do. Because you can always find a way to get over the railing and uh, jump to your demise if you want to. But um, as much as possible I'd like to keep this thing safe. So... Uh, that's what we're attempting here, and hopefully that works out. Do put up things and uh, torches now. Can go here. Four, five, six. <clears throat> Here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's all of that. Now, obviously, the half slabs are going to go around here, uh, which is going to preclude the uh, uh, placement of anything right there, as far as, like, stairs or fences or whatever. <clears throat> However, we can put them here. Can you walk through that? Oh, man. can walk through that. Okay. We're, uh, we're gonna have to go fences with this. Sadly. I like the look of the stone wall there, but... We need it to match up and work correctly, so... Fences it is. Which is fine. I'm not bitter about that at all. <laughs> uh, seriously, not. Okay, there we go. Alright, so um, obviously I will need to cut out here and make some more of my stone slabs. Uh, but that's okay, not a big deal. Cook up some more um, stone and craft that down. So I will cut out here, and uh, once more, I shall be right back. See you in a minute, guys. Alright, guys, and we are back, and I have more uh, stone slabs. So let's, let's get back to it here. Thankfully, nothing spawned while we were gone. Look at that. You can watch the redstone work. Fantastic. Yeah, this should prevent uh, slimes and other mobs from spawning uh, on this area. Now, I think slimes can actually spawn on redstone dust, so they can probably still spawn here or here. Um, but if nothing else, we're severely limiting their ability to spawn uh, anywhere besides inside the farm, and that's kind of what we want. So, as you can see, we've got uh, this layer coming up to here steps just straight up in. Uh, I might put a gate on this. I might not. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but for right now, it's good. And then I kind of like the way this looks. It's got it's got some class to it. Even though you can see all of this redstone stuff. Um, okay, but yeah, just a really short episode today, guys. Nothing too fancy. Just kind of wanted to get this project squared away. And uh, call it a day. So we do have our first section of the slime farm completely done. Uh, it is up and operational and ready to go. And um, 
as an added bonus, we got to create this little area, which I'm going to dub the Slime Deck. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. It's been uh, definitely fun putting together the Slime Deck for you. And uh, that would be a fantastic name for a Magic the Gathering deck, too. The Slime Deck. Okay, sorry. Uh, too many things. Too many plans and thoughts and such. Alright, but thank you for watching, guys. It has been an absolute pleasure. I'm glad to be back, and I hope that you guys continue to tune in. Uh, we've got another episode of Ark Survival coming on Friday, of course, and I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to try and do a bit of editing this weekend and uh, get some unturned out for you on Monday as well. So, um, of course, if you are not subscribe definitely do that so you can find out exactly when that comes out and you can just jump right on it and if you like the video of course leave it a like i always appreciate that appreciate the support for the channel and uh definitely look forward to seeing you all again coming up here on friday and then uh and beyond so uh thanks for watching guys and as always i will talk at you later